beautiful Sagittarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are turning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful that scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. If anyone claiming to be me asks you for money, donations, or e-gifts, or anything at all, it is not me, it is a scam, okay? I will never solicit for personal readings. I do not have Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon, so uh, please keep your wonderful selves safe. Let's get straight to your bonus reading, my beautiful Sag. Now, it occurred to me that as tarot readers in the tarot community, uh, on YouTube, certainly I've seen a lot um, of videos. We all focus on career, love, or general things. Nobody ever asks, how are you? Okay, so I thought I'd ask uh, Spirit, how's things going for you? What are the challenges that uh, are, you, you've been trying to overcome there? And if they've got any advice for you, I just want to check in and it's my way of saying, how are you doing, you know? Uh, so I may have uh, missed the videos. If there's wonderful light workers out there who are asking those questions, I would love to know who they are because uh, I'd uh, like to connect uh, and watch their, their um, work there. Uh, but let's see what Spirit's got in, in store for you. Um, so we have the High Priestess, very connected. You're a very intuitive person, Sag. Um, and I feel like you've been starting to connect to your higher power a lot more recently. Um, now, there is a, a big awakening happening for... Um, Okay, they want me to want to go one more. Okay, there we go. Oh, and one more. <laughs> Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? Uh, there is a big awakening happening um, at the moment in the collective. And I feel like um, you're starting... There's a very powerful energy within you um, where um, you're opening up to... Um, more positivity. It may not feel like that right now, Sag, but I feel like you're going through some sort of transitional period, okay? The High Priestess indicates that you're the sort of person who actually bring people together, okay? You're uh, the glue that binds is what they're indicating to me right now with this card. And that's normally not what this card means. This card is about being intuitive. It's about subconscious wisdom. It's about being the guardian of the unconscious and uh, someone who looks inwards, listens to their feelings, their gut instinct, their intuition, and allows themselves to be guided by that. Um, so I feel like the high priestess here in this situation, I feel like you're the sort of person who uses your intuition to help bring people together, okay? So you may have noticed that you seem to be a bit of a linchpin, especially when people are arguing. You're the sort of person who sees uh, both sides of the street, okay? And you may... Um, try and uh, bring people back together in some sort of union. I feel like you're a healer, okay? Sag, uh, there's definitely that energy of healing. Um, there's a healing energy that comes from you. Uh, also, I feel like your crown chakra, if it hasn't just opened wide open, it's going to, because I feel like there's a huge awakening upon you. Uh, now, they're not giving, this is not for everyone, but they're indicating someone's got really like, um, the throat chakra area, it feels really heavy, almost like you've done exercise there, okay? It's almost like if you pick something heavy up and your whole, your whole neck uh, muscles have kind of gone, Ew. you know, uh, you probably can't see that because you're probably looking from this part down, but it's almost like all the muscles in the neck are tensing up like that. So they're indicating this is where you hold a lot of your tension, okay? Uh, so if that's you, there's something that mes uh, resonates in this reading for you. Um, if it's not you, doesn't mean it's not your reading, just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading as their attention may have wavered. So you may have noticed recently that that area in your, your throat, it's not necessarily the throat, it's actually the muscles that are on the outside of the neck. It just feels really heavy, like as if you've been doing loads of exercise. Um, what they're indicating here is, um, now, again, this is not what this card means, but they're giving me an energy of time. You may feel like time is running out to do something, and it may have got you feeling like, um, I don't know, uh, anything that you've repressed, I feel like you're allowing it to come to the surface, okay? Also, I feel like there's been some sort of secret that you may have uh, uncovered recently, whether this is a secret about yourself, because sometimes we have epiphany moments about ourselves, Sag. Um, I feel like there's something here that may be hidden from you or um, that uh, you, you intuitively felt there was something that is being repressed. I feel like you're finding it out for the first time. Okay, uh, and I feel like it's led to a lot of um, 
scattered energy at first, but it actually brings a new beginning in a very positive way. Um, now, also, they said I'm not done with this card, so I'm just going to uh, check in with that energy. So when you get the High Priestess as well, uh, they're indicating here that you're the sort of person who, although you like to move forward, you're a very interesting person who likes to achieve, you're very passionate, you're a fire element, so you've got strong emotion, and you're led by your, your passion and your desire to be independent. Um, you've got a real cautiousness about you. Uh, maybe that's recently. Uh, I'm going to pull a quick card on it because they're giving me a cautious kind of energy. Maybe uh, stopping, getting all of the information, trying to uh, connect to your intuition as well to see if it can enlighten you with regards to the situation. But the High Priestess uh, represents a lot of wisdom. Okay, so I feel, I said this in your other reading, it came out the other day, I feel it was the last reading that I did for you, um, for the July reading, and that Sag, you know, Sagittarius, I call you Sag as a term of endearment, because I, I love uh, my beautiful Sagittarians, um, I've got a lot of them in my world, and, uh, you know, I always say to them that Sag, you know, Sage actually is like, uh, it always makes me think that there's so much wisdom that you have about yourselves. Uh, and I really feel like that in this card, okay? People may come to you for advice uh, quite a lot. And you may um, bring it upon yourself to really ponder their uh, situation in order to help them through it. Um, just be a little bit mindful, Sag, that uh, you're giving a lot of your energy, your time, and um, your wisdom to other people, to bring people together or to heal them in some way. Um, just make sure that you make a little bit of time for yourself, okay? It's very important that uh, that energy. Uh, now, the Sun card in the antagonist position, the resistance position, there may have, uh, you may have been feeling a little bit down recently, okay? Um, now, either that's due to something that got just discovered, uh, some sort of piece of information. Uh, now, this could be in love relationships, it could be in career, uh, business, uh, you know, uh, friendships. There's something here that you felt a little bit disappointed on, okay? Um, and they're indicating here that um, it actually stops you from going round and round in circles in some sort of pattern. So if you felt like there's been uh, something that keeps on happening in your world and you're like, enough is enough, I feel like there's a real breakthrough here. Um, but I feel like you got the strength that you need to pull you through this. Um, there's been, I feel there's a little bit sometimes sad sometimes people come towards you and they expect you to be there to pick them up or to offer advice there's an expectation that comes with this card and sometimes uh people what's interesting is i'm not here to blame anybody i'm here to understand the energy sometimes people they feel like they can come to you which is wonderful but then there's no off button for that it's almost like People then expect you to be there and uh, they take and they take. And I feel like these people don't, they don't necessarily want or even realize they're being selfish. Uh, but uh, there's just an energy here of um, people um, absorbing the light from you. Because I feel like you are a very, um, you're a light being. I, that's what I'm, I'm getting that you're a light being. A lot of people come towards you for advice because you give a balanced view. I always feel like... Um, you know, people look at Libra and they say, you know, you give a balanced, harmonious view. You're someone who sees both sides of the fence. But I feel like your your views are very fair. And I, I really, you know, I admire the honesty and the sharp wit and honesty that goes with it. Um, I feel like there has been something that has really been bothering you recently. And I feel like actually you're coming out of this. This is your challenge position. Um, it's almost like your challenge is to pursue your happiness. Okay, um, because sometimes you put other people's needs first. Now I did just did a Taurus reading and that similar energy came up there um, as well as a Scorpio reading. A similar energy came up where you're always making sure everyone around you, your family, your friends, only the people who are nearest and dearest to you, you make sure they're all well and happy and good and that everybody is catered for and all of those things. And sometimes you think of yourself as an afterthought. Okay, uh, don't forget about yourself. Okay, now there is a there is an awakening here happening, but I feel like the awakening is happening in your spiritual um, your spiritual self. 
I feel like you're getting into some sort of spiritual practice. Perhaps you're thinking about meditation or you're starting to investigate something on a deeper level there. Um, I also feel like uh, you're going to be injecting a little bit more positivity to your world. I feel like this awakening allows you to embrace the joy of life. Whereas before, I feel like there's been something recently that's left you a little bit confused. Like either what is my direction? What am I supposed to be doing? Or, um, you know, why do... Why is everything that I'm hoping to achieve starting to happen, but still there's an unfulfillment there? Or you may have lost your mojo or your passion, your motivation for something, and it's felt very clouded, and now uh, you're rediscovering it. I feel like there may have even been a little bit of self-doubt here occasionally. Now, this is not go. I'm going to pull... Um, card on that high priestess but i'm going to pull another card on the sun card because i feel like you've had a recent ego clash with somebody now i don't mean ego as in you think you're better than someone or they think they're better than you i feel like there's a personality i'll i'll, I'll change it thank you so much i'm sure you're grateful they just said flip it uh so a personality clash with someone recently so there may have been a very heavy argument or some sort of a clash of uh personalities there that led to a little bit of a struggle okay so i'm just gonna um pull a card on that thank you so much you you come in peace Edge. i really feel like you come in peace but there's something here that's been quite explosive uh how would you like to receive thank you so much um now the um yeah there's some quick changes here with the eight of wands it's almost like you know speed action news arrived so either something came to the surface that you were not expecting or some news came out of nowhere that made you feel like w w wait what um there's just this change that is happening it's all of a sudden now Often it is for the highest good, and the wands indicates uh, passion, drive, ambition, uh, something that's actually very strongly emotional. So I feel like there's been something in your world that has led to you deciding, i got to change this situation for me, okay? Uh, also, the full card indicates a release from attachments. It's about taking a leap of faith, and it's about having a lot of potential. Maybe you just had an awakening, and you're starting to recognize your potential, Sag, and you're starting to recognize that in seeing your potential and what it is that you finally want to do, uh, it means that you may not have time to help everybody else all of the time. Sometimes it's okay to just put your needs first. That is not a selfish act, okay? Now the full card also indicates having faith is important because I feel like you've had a real test of faith recently um, that has made you kind of... Um, Turn to faith in some way. If you were not someone who uh, had faith or belief in a higher source before, I feel like it's not that you're questioning your beliefs, but I feel like you're investigating things a little bit further. Um, I feel also like you're on the precipice of um, a big change. So either you're um, thinking about moving home or moving jobs. There's something um, you're going to get some really good news on that actually allows you to go forward. Now, this month in particular is Jupiter is in play, the planet of luck and good, uh, you know, good luck there and plenty. It's a time for chasing dreams. Uh, also, Mercury harmonizes with Ju uh, with Jupiter. Um, from the 12th to the 18th of July. So that means good news comes on in. But I feel like recently you've, you know, you've had call to use this, the strength card. I feel like you've been overcoming a lot of obstacles and you may have felt, you know, there was some sort of argument or something here. There's some sort of two people or a couple of people maybe clashing. Um, there's a struggle here or anger, uh, maybe even pride going on there. Now Mars is making itself known in the first week of July. So, uh, you know, you can feel that energy either side. Watch out again for it on the 20th of July because it will be in play around about then too. Mars likes to create a lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of misunderstandings, but also it clears the air. It almost like if there's tension building between you and a person or a situation tension, it builds up to the point where it's like, boom, it has to change and something has to happen for the better, okay? Now, the strength card, they really want to highlight there that um, you're the sort of person, you listen to your heart, but sometimes you doubt yourself a little bit, okay? So just be mindful of that because they're really indicating a head over heart struggle, and then right in the end, you're like, you know what, I'll leave it up to the universe. Whatever will be, will be. So I feel like surrendering is the key, but it's been a tough journey to get to that position. We're all in the same boat, Sag. We're all learning as we go through life, and I feel like, um, you know, you've been overcoming a lot of obstacles. You've, the strength card indicates a lot of endurance. You've got what it takes to go the distance in whichever way you want, but sometimes I feel like 
there's a moment of losing direction or maybe losing your drive or your motivation for something and you feel a little bit scattered, uh, you recognize within yourself. I feel like this is an awakening. You're recognizing within yourself some untapped or unfulfilled potential, okay? Um, now, the moon card, again, it's something from the surface uh, that has been deeply revealed to you. We've got some Virgo energy here, Cancerian energy, Leo energy. Um, we've also got some Scorpio energy. So if you've been dealing with any of those signs or any placements, I feel like something's come to the surface here to really um, create a little bit of a problem recently in the last couple of months and I feel like there's been some voluntary changes. Trust your intuition, it will never lead you astray. You're someone who is um, always ready, Sag. Not to say that you're on the defensive all the time, but I feel like you're ready for action all the time. So I feel like um, you, you're, although they say water elements are very intuitive, etc., etc., I feel like you, Sag, are actually very wise, have a lot of wisdom, and I feel like you're ready for any eventuality okay and the moon card also indicates a person who is sometimes a little bit cautious okay um, again I keep getting this energy of caution um, so because you always look at Sagittarians and you think you know what they're the ones who are going to take a leap of faith fire signs I always say to you you're always the the maverick of the the uh, the zodiac you go out there or happen to life and that's absolutely true but I feel like underlying there's a lot of caution so I feel like you're the sort of person who feels the fear and does it anyway it's like okay hold on tight I'm going in so I feel like you are like that warrior sometimes who just goes all on in and just you know it's like you hold your breath and like go okay I'm doing this regardless I'm doing it the death card also indicates you're someone who's willing to let go of anything that is holding you back or stagnant um, now just be mindful of sometimes overthinking or over obsessing about a situation uh, what is old and familiar um, you know it's sometimes it's good to shake up the the script as it were and I feel like you're embracing new um, pathways I feel like it's definitely a release here okay so Whatever pattern, whether it's friendships that you felt like you were investing a lot within friendships and they were not reciprocating in the same way, I feel like um, that really made you feel quite low uh, because you really trusted those people or what, you know, they were there for you in some moments, but when it really mattered, you may have felt like they abandoned ship or they weren't there in the way that you were hoping for. Similarly, in terms of a career, you may have like um, intuitively felt like you were stuck that there was no room for growth within the situation and you're ending it and you're leaving things behind. Uh, it could even be a relationship that you felt like there was a personality clash there and um, you're having the strength to pull you through to overcome any anger or rage or any um, sadness that has gone um, uh, with this relationship and I feel like you're letting it go, okay? Now let's go a little bit deeper. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? How are they doing? Yeah. Uh, so we got the Eight of Fire again, so um, this is the Eight of Wands again. You're looking for change. You're someone who, you know, you don't like to stay in this in uh, an energy of loss or lack or anything like that for long. You're always the sort of person who looks at the, the life in the way of the glass is half full rather than half empty. And I feel like you're making some serious changes in your life, okay, whether that's career or um, friendships. Um, or love relationships, maybe even home, I feel like you're fanning the flames after a period of maybe feeling like unmotivated or frustrated that things were not able to happen. For example, travel. You're the sort of person who longs to, you know, encounter the world um, and uh, all that has it has to offer. So with this pandemic, for example, you may have felt like you're really stuck in a rut, that you couldn't get out there and be your wonderful, uh, curious kind of self. But I feel like everything is changing. So either you're planning, uh, you know, something to look forward to in the future. You're always someone who goes, you know what, I'm going to plot something in the future, a little bit to look forward to, because you understand human nature that we need uh, to shake up the script a little bit. Okay. Now they've asked me, uh, just like they asked me for the tourist reading, uh, that I just now take from the top. Okay. Just to save time, I've shown the cards. I've already meditated on the cards before I even got uh, to start your reading as well. Uh, but the challenge here is the Five of Earth. 
This is what's crossing you, okay? The challenge is letting go of things that no longer serve you. You may have felt like, um, I feel like you're willing to do it, but it, it takes a lot, Sag. Also, the Five of Earth is about isolation. Uh, you may feel like abandoned in a situation. You may feel a little bit left out in something. So um, it's almost like sometimes you feel like, so weird, they're giving me like an either or. It's almost like either sometimes in some situations, you're the first to know. But in other situations, you're the last to know. Um, so maybe that in terms of good news, you're always the last to know. But when there's something bad happening and people need your advice or anything, they're all you're always the first point to come to. Okay. Um, the five of Earth indicates hope, swinging between hope and despair. Okay. So you may feel like those moments of um, feeling everything's going okay, you've got this, everything's fine, and then you doubt yourself and it swings between feeling like there's no hope or um, you're just feeling a little bit like lost with direction. They keep showing me a direction gauge. I, I let it go the first time because um, it was just a passing image. Whenever I get passing images, they don't stay for long enough for me to see it. Uh, so it kind of came really quickly and left, but it's come back again. So maybe this is how you're feeling. Sometimes you feel like you, um, get a little bit um, cynical on the direction or you feel like you've lost hope in, the, in a certain direction or maybe you feel like you lose direction and feel a little bit scattered um, and then you come back into feeling like it's okay I got this okay what they're indicating here is that uh, you may be um, it may come from the fact that you're giving a lot of your time your energy and your care to everybody else and sometimes forgetting about yourself you put yourself last okay so just be mindful of that because as you can see this figure here there's four pentacles on this side okay and this figure is looking uh, at the four pentacles here this is what um, this person is focusing on and you know there's one pentacle over there so it's not balanced as you can see so it's almost like looking at um, what do you keep for yourself four pentacles uh, and then what do you have to offer one pentacle okay you're, you're teaching people how to meet you what you you know your boundaries your strong self-esteem that you are willing to put boundaries in place so that they do not um, take you for granted okay in certain situations so um, also Again, we've got the fox here right at the beginning. They're showing me the fox. Now, the fox is a symbol. Beautiful. I love foxes. But they're a symbol of caution. Okay? So they're indicating here that sometimes you may withdraw from situations because you feel a little bit cautious. Um, I'm going to pull a quick card on that one. Um, thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? Thank you so much. Okay. Um, and it's about separation or, uh, I mean... There may be something from childhood or it could be something that you're experiencing right now or you're going through, uh, either separation um, or some sort of family trouble that you may have been going through recently um, that has made you really look at your investment in self, where you feel like you're taken, taken for granted or also where you feel a little bit abandoned or isolated. You may even be worried about family or separation, separating from family at this time, especially since we're going through a pandemic. A lot of people, depending on the restrictions you have in the world, some people have not seen their family for a while and it's really killing them inside. Um, other people, you know, um, are feeling like uh, very worried about their people. Of course, we're all worried. That's uh, a to I totally get it. I totally understand. Um, but they're just indicating just be a little bit cautious about letting the worry build up so much that it is in detriment to yourself. OK, uh, by that, I mean that is hurting you, Sag. OK. Um, Now they're indicating here is a little butter. There's a little bunny. I've never noticed that in this card before. There's a little bunny. Okay. Now the bunny, uh, the energy that I'm getting straight away. Sorry, just before I finish there, they're giving me someone just lit a match. So if smell the sulfur, if that's you, someone just lit a match. Then there's something in this message for you. You may be lighting a candle. You may be lighting a smoke. A cigarette or whatever cigar if you're you know celebrating something or I don't know why you'd be listening to this if you're celebrating something you should be off celebrating um, so if that's you that just lit uh, a match there's something in this message for you it's not going to resonate for everyone but again it's almost like a spark an epiphany uh, some sort of realization moment um, now the but the bunny 
represents, you know, uh, freedom um, and also uh, playfulness, but also um, a doubling up of, en you know, energy. So, you know, things multiplying. So as you can see, the bunny is coming out when the fox, which represents caution, it's almost like when you allow yourself to be fully yourself and not cautious, Sag, uh, that's when you can really come out to play. Uh, so just be mindful of um, being a little bit over cautious in situations. Obviously, don't go crazy and be like, you know, throwing uh, caution to the wind and like going out there. And um, But just be a little bit mindful of being over cautious in some situations. Um, now, we got the Queen of Water below you. A lot of love. We got the Six of Fire. Uh, I'm using the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. You only read the uprights in this deck, just to let you know. We got the Six of Water. We got the Call. Yeah, it's about direction for sure. Okay, uh, so the Queen of... Oh, we got a little bit of energy joining from... Um, oh, one moment, please. So just give me something. Okay. Um, they've given me the name Reuben. Reuben. So if your name is Reuben or... That's someone that you know called Ruben. Please take it as it resonates. But they're giving me something else as well. One moment, please. Ruben and I can't spirit. I cannot quite get that next word. Rodella. I mean, I'm sure I've heard of Rodella Drive or something like that. But is it? Could you please clarify Rodella? Okay, Rodella. They're saying Rodella. So either Ruben and Rodella are connected in some way or they're separate. Uh, please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure what the resonance would be there, uh, but please take it as it resonates. Could be a name, could be a place. Um, so please take it as it resonates for you. Now, the Queen of Water, Sad, you have so much love to give and you're a natural healer, okay? Um, you have so much compassion for everybody. That's why a lot of people come towards you for advice, okay? You're not called Sag or Sagittarius for no reason. There is sage there. There is wisdom. There is, uh, you came to this world with a lot of that wisdom. You just know things, okay? Um, also, um, you, pro you actually provide, whether you realize it or not, you provide a lot of emotional security for people. And sometimes that's a problem, okay? Because when people are feeling like a, a ship in a storm, Storm and they're all over the place like that they want to grab to the next person they want to grab to the person they feel is anchored and that person is you Sag so you may notice that sometimes people who are emotionally um, um, going through some stuff or feeling emotionally insecure or um, in some way need anchoring they come towards you it's you're like a beacon of light to them so of course have strong boundaries OK, um, you're not here. Uh, well, I want to be kind of when I say this, because what, it's it's OK to give your wonderful self, your wonderful energy and everything like that um, and your love and your care for people. But you're not your purpose is not to fix people. OK, um, remember yourself. OK, uh, yeah, uh, the Queen of Water is someone who. Um, is very generous as well and I feel like you're you're starting to learn Sag recently to be comfortable in your own skin after a long period of feeling like you are not uh, I also feel like you're you may not feel like this sometimes that people um, they, they may not treat you with the respect that you truly deserve but I feel like deep down everybody has a lot of uh, love and respect for you but I feel like mm. I just feel like you've given a lot of your love out and um, it's an imbalanced reciprocal exchange as it were Maybe reciprocal is not the right word. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. That's what they said. Maybe reciprocal is not the right word. Um, so they're giving me that it's an imbalanced. You may be looking at relationships and um, how much you give and how much you get back in. Uh, Taurus got a similar energy there. Queen of Water indicates you are someone who sometimes feels a little bit insecure. Okay. Um, and I feel like it's because you're absorbing it. You're someone who absorbs people's energy quite a lot. Uh, so you may feel all of a sudden insecure from nowhere um, and they're indicating that you're like a sponge. You're picking up energy 
I'm going to quickly pull a card on that. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Yeah, so the, it's like in and out of your confidence. You know, the Queen of uh, the Queen of Wands is all about confidence, feistiness, a fire element that uh, you know is very self assured. But the Two of Pentacles, uh, when you get in the reverse, they're indicating you know don't sort of dip between confidence and no confidence. Have confidence because you are awesome, and not as uh, not many people sort of say, "Hey, Sad, you're doing a good job." The universe says that you're doing. Spirit is indicating you're doing an awesome job, okay? Um, don't doubt yourself. Be wonderfully feisty. Be your individual self. You know, you're very unique. And you, you, I really feel like you're always honest, straight up, and you are unapologetically yourself. But I feel recently, I just get this energy that you've lost your motivation or your passion for something, and you're trying to get it back, okay? Uh, the Six of Fire indicates... Um, that you have a natural inner shine, six of fire. Uh, you don't often like to step into the limelight, but I feel like that's where you belong. Um, it's it's time to sort of embrace that shine within you and let it come out. Uh, I really feel like you inspire others, okay? You're, you're the sort of person who is a cheer, cheerleader for a lot of people in your life that say, you know, you can do it. So whenever they come to you uh, feeling like they're in a position of lack, you know, or they're feeling insecure, or they're feeling like um, you always give them a pep talk. That's why they always come to you, Sag. Just make sure you've got someone there who's cheering you on the sidelines too, okay? Um, I do feel like you have a lot of people who care a lot about you, and there's a lot of love, and that there is people who care deeply and are your cheerleaders. I feel like you, though, overgive a little bit more than usual. Um, so just be mindful of that. Six of fire also indicates sometimes a lack of confidence as well. Um, and that, um, I mean, that's, a, that's an obvious thing to say because humans, sometimes we do lack confidence. But I really feel like um, it's only when, now, you don't seek praise, Sad. You're not the sort of person who says, ooh look at me I'm doing an awesome job everybody talk about me and tell me how I'm doing an awesome job you're not that sort of person but you're this I just get that occasionally along the way if someone gave you a pat on the back and said you know what you're awesome you're doing a fantastic fantastic job or you know what you're an awesome friend I just really um you know respect you and I'm so grateful for you having to have you in my life or you know family saying you know what you're you're just a beacon of light in this family you keep everyone together you're doing such an incredible uh thing you're so selfless um i think sometimes if you heard it it would be nice it's not that you need validation i don't feel you're very independent fiercely independent in fact um and i don't feel like you need it but sometimes i feel like when you're trying to build something in your career and things are not going your way if there's a disappointment or something like that um you may feel like well what is the point OK, and I know uh, it's hard to keep getting up and getting up and getting up again and, and again and again. Um, and there is definitely a change happening here for you. Something more exciting and um, positive is coming your way. But I feel like you're, re you're starting to build something. And sometimes you just like to know whether you're on the right track. So it would be nice to hear. The three of Earth indicates you're really open to teamwork. You know, you, you really care about your friends and um, you bring a lot to every situation you're in. But sometimes you may feel like there's something missing or you may feel like you don't fit in somewhere. You may feel a little bit like, now, yeah, it just feels like you always feel like there's something missing, but I feel like you have a desire for long-term security. Um, now, hmm, they're showing me, they did this a couple of, like either last month and the, they're showing me a football, a football, like her, and like a, a soccer ball you know, and it's white and black. They did this to me before, uh, only a couple of weeks ago or a month ago or something like that. Maybe it was even in your reading, but they're showing it to me again, a uh, football. So if that resonates for you in any shape or form, maybe you're sitting listening to this reading, having a look at a football, or you're really into your football, um, or someone gave you a football as a gift, or maybe even a little trinket, or a little chocolate that's wrapped in football wrapping paper, whatever. Please take it as it resonates. It's not gonna resonate for everyone. You're a maverick. They just gave me the word maverick. You're a maverick, Sag. You look to the future. You can see the future um, in a way with structure. It's almost like you know, by looking at the sort of set of variables, you know how things are gonna go. 
okay and you're good at planning for that eventuality that's the cautious part of you uh, also we got the six of water don't look back at the at the past with rose tinted glasses sometimes the past is the past for a reason uh, we don't need to revisit it obviously if there's friends that you really care about and you really are longing to um, reconnect with people from the past then look them up you know it's okay to make the first move um, I feel like they're thinking about you also um, but I feel like these are friends that you just lost touch with rather than anything bad happened there, okay? Um, but I do feel like you actually may hear from someone that you haven't heard from in a while, Sag. And it doesn't mean an ex-lover. It doesn't mean like, uh, you know, uh, an, it could be an ex-colleague. It could be a friend that you lost touch with. It could be an old family friend uh, or an, a family member that you, you know, you didn't even... Um, you haven't been in contact for a long time with or you haven't discovered that you didn't even know about. Um, the six of... Um, water is also about old flames so although you're not the sort of person to dwell on the past moments come on in and i feel like there's a yearning there okay um just to let you know that you were loved unconditionally you were loved by this person that you may have lost in the past there was so much love here the queen of water says there was so much love so much fire so much passion okay but the real question recently is am i on the right path the call card this is the judgment card okay um, I feel like you're trying to find clarity a final decision on uh, your life's purpose or uh, um, uh, you know your life's path your soul path and I feel like you're at a decision point in your life where you're reaching for a new life I feel like there's change happening here for you and you must purge things to let them go and uh, remain in the past and I feel like you're being renewed in some way uh, there's a rebirth the call card asks you um, to understand what happened so far, where you've come from, where you are now, and where you want to go, and then make your decision as to the next step that you take. But I feel like you're someone who's been weighing up your purpose or your direction recently because I feel like you may have lost your motivation. It's almost like, um, especially since the pandemic happened, you may have been thinking that certain things that you deemed important are no longer important or things that you feel are more important now never were before there's a lot of shifting energy in your reading we've got the queen of earth we've got the king of earth beautiful energy and we've got the seven of earth so the queen of earth indicates you want to build a solid home you're very resourceful with everything you got sag you know even if you've got a little you make a little go a long way you're someone who budgets really well occasionally occasionally they are indicating there are moments of swinging between like a uh, a crazy purchase just for you okay those purchases are great you know why because you're just giving yourself a little gift I'm not saying leave yourself out of pocket but they're just indicating you know don't beat yourself up about those things but the Queen of Earth indicates you're very you're being very resourceful especially at the moment also you may be thinking about uh, building a home for yourself uh, either buying a new home or thinking about settling down planting roots um, and they're really indicating here oh got a little bit of energy joining they're really indicating here someone who's trying to get back to nature who may be growing little things in like plant pots at home. So you may have started um, seeing if you're green fingered, as it were, uh, you know, making uh, little strawberries or, uh, you know, maybe even having a little window box where you're growing fruit if you don't have a garden. But if you've got a garden, you may be opening things up and uh, I feel like you're getting a little bit back to nature. OK, um, that's the environment. But I feel like you're starting to save money. OK for a rainy day uh, and I also feel like you're committed to goals dreams you're very your commitment to things are second to none there is a lot of dependable energy about you you're very loyal uh, and can be very practical at times um, and I feel you're very yeah very committed when you decide to do something Sag you live by your honor okay um, it's rare it's a rare time only if maybe you, you run out of time that you would not um, do what you say you're gonna do okay also the king of earth now the king of earth is someone who makes wise um, decisions someone who is very uh, solid in their energy and someone who is very wise um, so again there's that wisdom that's coming through here also I feel like you've got what it takes to go the distance and be in leadership positions roles of responsibility that bring in more money if you're looking to do that okay being an entrepreneur as well is something that would suit you because you uh, are good at planning and you're very innovative they're given the word innovative um, sorry there's give me a, a name one moment please 
Uh, they just gave me the name Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Now, my readings are not religious uh, in any way, but I feel like there is a religious patron who is called Bartholomew. Um, so maybe something related to that, either it's uh, a Saint Bartholomew something, or it could be your name and you're named after that, uh, or it could be somewhere you're going to travel to. I mean, it could be like Saint Bartholomew's Hospital or Saint ba Bartholomew's uh, Place of Worship or something like that. Bartholomew. It could even be an avenue. So please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. I mean, I haven't heard that that name since I was like a kid. So um, it's very unique, okay? But the King of Earth also has suggests you have the Midas touch, okay? Um, people, situations, you're a good people person, uh, you know, you're a good uh, leader. Things just turn out the way that you'd hoped, especially when you're hoping it, Sag, for a lot of other people. You tend to ask when you're doing wishes and dreams and prayers and things like that, you offer up a lot for other people. Remember yourself. Please, please, please remember yourself, okay, is what they're indicating here. Uh, and the Seven of Earth. Seven of Earth is about looking at your investment in relationships, uh, career paths, um, love relationships, friendships, and where they are not reciprocal, you know. So again, it's that in energy of, you know, you're someone who saves people. You're the glue that binds. But sometimes you may give a lot of your... Um, your attention to people and when you are hoping for someone to be there for you you may feel like they're not okay um, so just be mindful of what you give out and you're not giving out to receive back but I feel sometimes sometimes you got to be mindful that people will continue to take and take and take unless you've got a strong healthy boundary that says okay I can I can do this to help you but I can't do it all the time. Sometimes I need some time for myself, okay? Also, the seven of earth indicates you are someone who's very diligent, patient, uh, patient, and who works really hard. You invest 100% whenever you're doing something, and uh, you're gonna be very successful. Don't give up, okay? Just because you're not seeing the rewards, sometimes you may give up a little bit too soon. You may feel um, a little bit knocked in your energy if things do not work out the way that you're hoping for. So please um, be mindful. Um, that sometimes you may give up or think about giving up just before you're about to win, okay? Uh, now, they're just showing me a butterfly. It's a, a spotted butterfly. So if you just saw a spotted butterfly uh, recently, or maybe you're listening to this reading and one has just landed uh, in your vicinity, a spotted butterfly. I feel like it's kind of white and black spots, um, but spotted butterfly all the same. So if that's you, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. If it does resonate for you, uh, there's definitely something in this reading for you. And just as I was talking, they said the name Teresa. Okay, Teresa. So if your name is Teresa, there is something in this message for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know? Uh, they just also said Christina. Christina. So if your name is Christina, Tower. Okay, Tower. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Uh, seven of cups the full card okay so they're giving me here a little bit of fear of change um oh they want one more thank you so much spirit guides great angels please guide my beautiful sagittarians what else do they need to know before we close this reading two of pentacles indecision so a little bit of fear of change there uh the tarot card with the seven of cups um, indicates that um, some sort of epiphany moment has happened here to clear any illusions and restore a sense of um, something that, I, I, as I said, either some sort of secretive information, secret, or someone told you a secret, or information that was not privy to you has come your way, and it's really sort of set you thinking, but it makes you see super clearly, okay, with that tower. It doesn't mean your whole world is coming crumbling down, but it really means that if you've been feeling stuck or you've lost motivation, you've lost drive, or something like that, the tower comes along as an epiphany moment. It's like a lightning bolt from the universe that normally hits the crown chakra, that deep knowing. It sets the, the prison or the tower on, uh, it's normally a tower, uh, on fire. Now the tower represents a prison or a stagnant energy. And uh, two people normally leap out of the windows into the unknown because it's better to take a leap of faith rather than stay where they were because they'd be burnt if they stayed where they were or worse, it's over. As you can see, the butterflies are exiting uh, this little hut 
thing um, and the squirrel there as you can see squirrels just put their little nuts in there normally that's where they feel safe that's where they're putting something away for a rainy day but as they as you can see there uh, it's about coming out of the comfort zone so something has uh, some sort of secret or information has come your way that has made you come a little bit out of your comfort zone but it makes you see, see something clearly um, I feel like um, with the full card in the reverse as well um, it may have scattered your energy a little bit but you may have been unprepared for this information and it's really got you thinking in your head um, don't lose hope okay uh, because they're indicating here that uh, everything will balance itself out but you could, you may be uh, someone who's going to be multitasking for a little while okay you've got many options available to you they just said and another before I go thank you so much spirit guys going angels can you please guide my beautiful how would you like to receive thank you so much Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups. And then it said, and finally, does that mean you want me to go one more? And finally, oh, that's a yes then. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Um, they just said pebbles to me, pebbles. So they're indicating it's a name. If your name is Pebbles, there's something in this message for you. Pebbles, a beautiful name. Uh, so if that's you, there's something in this message for you. It could be a nickname. Um, Pebbles, yeah. Uh, so take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. Uh, before I reveal these two cards, they're indicating here that you've had a bit of a bad run of luck and there's been a lot of disappointments, okay? Um, they are indicating um, that this um, is, this. they just said this too shall pass. This too shall pass, okay? Yeah, uh, the Knight of Wands uh, in the reverse there, they're indicating uh, with the Knight of Wands that um, there will be more stability, okay? Because um, in the upright, and in, it basically indicates like a transient energy or very passionate kind of energy, someone who's lusty and free-spirited. Uh, so your uh, motivation, your drive may have been knocked there for a little while, uh, but you're in search of something greater here with that Queen of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Swords often turns her back to the past and uh, moves forward with integrity, uh, has clarity of purpose. So you're aligning yourself with an understanding of who you are, what it is you want, um, especially since I feel like they're showing me that direction gauge of you, you're really questioning your direction. I feel like you will, in the near future, if you haven't already had an epiphany moment where uh, you are uh, leading with strategy. The Queen of Air is someone who uh, is very self-sufficient. Uh, again, male or female, not a gender-specific reading, but you lead with total honesty and respect. And I feel like you're letting go of any false truths. Um, I also feel like you're making shrewd decisions at this time, being very, very clear with your, your words. Um, whereas there's been so, some sort of situation recently they're showing um, that may have called for it. Um, call for your sharp energy. Uh, I just feel a little bit of sadness on that. You may have felt like you said things that were not necessarily meant to be said, um, but I feel like in it, you're creating a strong boundary. You're actually teaching somebody or a, a situation um, that it, a healthy boundary needs to be structured here, okay? Um, so, um, also, just to let you know, I'm gonna quickly pull a card um, because I cannot ignore the fact that we have a six of water and a queen of earth and a king of earth there. They are indicating that there is a potential here for you to uh, look back on a relationship that you used to have with somebody fondly. Um, but the call indicates you may be weighing up whether you go back with that person if they return. Um, I feel like there's potential here to find somebody new though, okay? Uh, I haven't done that for any of the readings, but they just gave it to me just now. So... Um, Thank you so much. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. And there's, how would you like to receive? Thank you. Uh, we have the four swords. So you're healing from something. Uh, something that, uh, you know, uh, may have happened a long time ago, but I feel like uh, it left you very anxious in regards to love. And I feel like uh, you may have been a solitary energy since then. So you may have just been building your own nest. 
your home, making it a, a sanctuary for you. Um, and you may have been waiting for love, but felt like it's not coming. Um, there is a new start on the board here for you. Ten of Swords in the reverse indicates a new start is opening up to you. Uh, also, I feel like it's a recovery. There is a potential for forgiveness with this person, should you wish to, Sag, but... Uh, it's totally your call. There is someone new coming on in, I feel that. So I do feel like you have an option, okay, um, with the call card. The call card is the judgment card. It's about weighing up second chances as well. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles indicates there's someone new coming in to give you a more committed energy, someone who's going to build a solid foundation with you, okay? Could also be a new job if you're looking for a new job and you feel like uh, you know, you've being, uh, you know, you're shaking up your energy completely and wanting a new change there. I feel like um, the universe is going to intervene in this situation. Okay, so let's move straight on. Uh, oh, okay, we got chop wood. Um, so we got chop wood there. Now, as you can see, uh, I'm going to show you in the upright, the doors are wide open. Uh, looks like there is a bit of a mess that's being cleaned up there. Um, and the stars are aligning for healing and also for success, but the sun is shining. Uh, now, let me show you in the reverse. So let's see what it says there. Uh, it's number 42 when you reduce it. Four plus two is six, so it's the number of love. So you may have felt like you've um, you've disconnected for from love for a while as well. 42. Uh, just as I'm... They're just giving me the name Phil. Phil. So if your name is Phil, uh, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. Um, and they're giving me another name. It could be a place. Uh, Dagara. 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 So if your name is Dagara, or it's a nickname, uh, it could be a place. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. Uh, 41, 42. Chop wood protection message. It says, are you an armchair astronaut? Do you dream of wealth and fame and big ideas, inventions, or desires with a capital D? The appearance of this card is a sign that you might be devoting far too much time dreaming and talking about your dreams. You have yet to get out of your chair to make things happen. You actually have to do something. Start with a small task. Remember, the big dream becomes reality only after you've begun to take incremental steps. Mythologist Joseph Campbell once said, take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you. Okay, Sag, I don't feel like you're the sort of person who is an armchair astronaut, but I totally believe in the sentence, take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you. So um, perhaps that's the, the take home from that card. I really don't feel like you're the sort of person who sits there and does nothing, just talks about it. Not at all. Thank you so much for that guys. Can you please guys? We have uh, the key. Uh, now the key uh, indicates you will be unlocking something here, but uh, it's got the key with the, the rose there that appears on the death card. Okay, so death card symbolizes change, transition, endings becoming a new beginning. Uh, it's like that butterfly spirit, you know, moving from the butterfly state into the chrysalis where nothing feels like it's happening, it feels stagnant. Then all of a sudden there's an unlocking period where the butterfly emerges uh, from that chrysalis. So I feel like you're going to be unlocking some real serious energy in the next couple of months. Um, they actually want this on the King of Pentacles, okay? You're making some solid decisions and unlocking a lot of peace because that is the rose of uh, peace. It is also the rose of... Um, reconciliation um, also we have um, the horse okay uh, sorry they just said rejuvenation with the rose as well uh, we have the horse so you will be going faster if you felt like you've been going very slow uh, the horse is very committed uh, dependable loyal energy someone who's very very graceful Sag, uh, but you have what it takes to endure a lot and go the distance, okay? I feel like you're going to be crossing a finish line very soon in your life towards something that you've been trying to achieve. Um, but I feel like it's about finding that motivation, that drive, okay? Um, they want this on the strength card for endurance. You have what it takes to go the distance. I'll leave that there, Sag. It was a little bit different this time. I will be doing uh, love and career as well later on, but I just thought I'd do something for you. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Sag. Love and light.